the Secretary's passion is inspiring, isn't it? Hope is a powerful force. That's a theme that you've heard throughout your sessions. It enables, it inspires promise and purpose. Hope is the fuel for the American dream. America's young people should feel a sense of hope. And when there is a lack of opportunity, either perceived or real, that sense of hope just doesn't exist. A person's very ambition and belief can be destroyed when they see no opportunity. Our young people deserve the opportunity to realize their fullest potential. Effective education and ongoing learning lead to continued opportunities and help make hope possible. But without strong collaborative partnerships from all parties, the competitiveness of America's workforce and the strength of our economy are at risk. The business world in particular has a very important stake in this very urgent issue. Business leaders are finding it increasingly challenging to find the right talents and keep the skills of existing employees up to date. In a recent conference board survey, CEOs across the world responded that their top challenge is talent. And every business today, no matter how big or how small, is competing globally for talent. Now, while we should always be mindful of a global marketplace, our focus today is right here at home. Millions struggle to find work, yet millions of jobs go unfilled because today's workers lack the skills and education required. It's a climate in which hope and the promise of the American dream continue to be out of the reach for far too many. The world is rapidly changing, and companies are racing to remain relevant and successful. The quality of the experience we create for our customers is dependent upon the capabilities of our people. To win in any competitive marketplace, businesses must differentiate themselves in ways that customers expect and value. And because customers' expectations are constantly changing, our people must have the ability to learn and adapt. But we continue to see a gap, a gap between the skills brought to the workforce by employees today versus the skills needed to succeed and grow in today's marketplace. But this is more than an issue about the skills required of future employees. We all have a shared stake in the people who make up our communities. We all benefit when our communities thrive and prosper. We need to accept it as our responsibility to help create opportunity for tomorrow's leaders, workers, and consumers. At the same time, we need to find ways to create a sense of hope that those opportunities are within the reach of all. We must ensure that young people never lose the desire to dream to reach higher, to achieve more. Business leaders are facing serious issues that require more than just incremental improvements in our education system. Uncertainty is prevalent in the business world today. Technological advancements are driving changes in customers' expectations and enabling non-conventional competitors to fundamentally disrupt whole industries. Disruption is often seen as a risk, something to mitigate. But the reality is that disruptions can create new opportunities. And it is people and their creative talents that fuel the innovations which lead to these disruptions. The same forces of innovation that drive disruption in business are applicable to the issues that you all are discussing at this summit. Our traditional systems of education and continued learning must adapt and reflect the demands and capabilities of our new world. As we look for ways to improve, we should apply new ways of thinking to solve these complex challenges. We should approach these challenges with a beginner's mindset and remove any of the barriers that are derived from what our historical experience bases have been. We also need to find sustainable ways to continue the momentum that you have built and fully leverage the transparency that you're creating. I'd like to take just a few moments to share comments about my company. State Farm has long been 
a supporter of education. And that support begins with our CEO and chairman, Ed Rust. Ed has been instrumental in raising the awareness around education issues for more than two decades. His passion, his dedication to furthering opportunity are unwavering. State Farm invests in education in part to help assure the economic vitality of our nation. But it's not just about our business. Our support is geared toward helping youth achieve their greatest potential and helping them become even more productive members of their communities. The communities where we do business are part of who we are as a company. And because we serve roughly 27 million households throughout the United States, we have the opportunity to live and operate in all sorts of communities. Our people volunteer their time. They volunteer their talent in communities across America. And this volunteerism is supported, is advocated by State Farm. Again, thriving communities enable so much for all of us. And I believe the community from which I came enabled so much for me. I grew up in a small, rural community in central Illinois. Now when I say small, all, all members of my hometown could sit in this room about four times. Now as in any small town, everyone knew what everyone else was doing. But we also felt a responsibility for each other. My community included not only my parents and my brothers, but, all, but also both sets of my grandparents. As, re as I reflect back on my youth, I now know what a blessing it was to be so close to both sets of grandparents. My grandparents lived through the Great Depression, and I remember them all as extremely hardworking people. And even though two of them didn't get past the eighth grade, each of them emphasized the value of education to me, and they instilled a sense of values, values regarding hard work, self-reliance, sacrifice, respect for others. My parents didn't have an easy road to their education. They married young. My mom was 18 years old. My dad served in the Korean War and was fortunate to receive his college degree through the GI Bill. My mom graduated college at the age of 30 while expecting my younger brother and having two children under the age of 11 to watch over. That determination of them earned them the distinction of being the first in their families to graduate college. They served as role models for me. They always challenged me to be my very best. As I look back, I've come to appreciate my family, my teachers, my coaches, and that small, tight-knit community for what it truly was. It was a group of people who cared about me, who wanted me to do better, who wanted me to actually achieve more than they were able to achieve for themselves. Strong and vibrant communities are critical to building a future in which there are ever-increasing opportunities. My hope is that we, all members of this big community, can unite on this common ground. This is how we will keep hope and the promise of the American dream alive today and for all generations to follow. But to create meaningful results, we must take the very spirit of this summit, perpetuate it throughout all communities, and keep it alive every day. I want to express my deepest appreciation for your involvement in this very noble cause. I'm honored to be asked to spend a few moments with you in our shared vision of Opportunity Nation. And in that spirit of shared vision, I'd like to speak directly to the young adults who are here today and share with you some of the same stories and messages I share with my three sons. Always remember, others do not define you. You and your actions define you. In this regard, never presuppose that you can't accomplish something. Never underestimate your own potential. Consider the increasingly complex global world that you will inherit. You inherently possess the skills required for success in such an evolving world. You collaborate, you innovate, you adapt. 
American businesses are looking for those very characteristics for their future leaders. Continue to push yourself to reach your highest potential and you will be well positioned to succeed. Expect great things of yourself and the world around you. And many times, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Does this mindset position you for the occasional disappointment? Of course it does. But your successes will far outweigh your failures if you make the most of each and every opportunity you're afforded. I believe that you have the creativity, you have the energy, you have the talents that are necessary to create a nation of opportunity. And furthermore, you will give hope to all the generations who follow you. Thank you very much.